Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Engineering Education. In this video, we will discuss about concepts of structural analysis, out of which our first concept is force. We already know that as per the Newton's law, force is equal to mass into acceleration and the unit of force is nothing but a Newton and 1 Newton is nothing but kg into meter per second square. Our second concept is nothing but an equilibrium equation. We already know that on each structural member forces are acting. We need to balance those forces so that that particular structural member will be in a stable condition or will be in an equilibrium equation. So there are three equilibrium equations. One is summation of f of x is equal to zero. Second is summation of f of y is equal to zero. And third is sum of the moment at any point is equal to zero. When a structural member satisfies all these three equations, then that particular structure will be in a stable, stable condition or will be in an equilibrium. Along with that, we have a third concept which is nothing but a support. There are different types of support out of which I had considered here. First as a fixed support, second is roller support and third is hinge support. When we consider a fixed support, for a fixed support there are three unknowns. One is along x direction, one is along y direction and one is along the moment. Second, for roller support we have one unknown along the y direction only and for hinge support there are two unknowns one is along the x direction and one is along the y direction when we apply these concepts to the beam uh, for there are different types of beam let us consider here first is our cantilever beam for a cantilever beam now as we know that for fixed support there are three unknowns i will draw here those three unknowns one is along x direction one is along y direction and one is along the uh, moment at fixed end for simply supported one is hinge and another one is a roller so for hinge there are two unknowns for roller there is one unknown our third beam is overhang beam for this also there are two unknowns at hinge and one unknown is at roller for fix we already know that for fixed support there are three unknowns so as it is a fixed beam there will be the six unknown for one end there will be three unknown for second in there will be three unknowns for propped cantilever again there will be three unknowns for fixed support and for roller there will be one unknown for a continuous beam as we know that it is a hinge so there are two unknowns and for roller there is one unknown so ultimately when we calculate this number of equations or number of unknowns for cantilever we have three unknowns for simply supported beam we have three unknowns for overhang beam we have three unknowns so as per the mathematical law when there is one unknown there will be one equation when there are two unknowns there will be two equations and we when there are three unknowns there will be three equations we need to solve we need to uh, solve those uh, equations as per the number of unknowns so we have equilibrium equations three so we can solve uh, three up to three unknowns that means for a cantilever beam three unknowns we can solve with equilibrium equation for simply supported beam there are three unknowns we can solve with equilibrium equation and even overhang beam also we can solve with a equilibrium equations so these are the structures which we can solve with the equilibrium equations but when we consider about fixed beam propped cantilever beam and continuous beam there are six unknowns in a fixed beam propped cantilever will have four and for continuous beam we have five unknowns so we cannot solve these beams with the help of equilibrium equations so we can divide these concept as when a beam which we can solve with the equilibrium equations those are statistically determinate beam and those which we cannot solve with equilibrium equations those are called as indeterminate So, here are two concepts, there are determinate beams and indeterminate beams. So, when we want to solve an indeterminate beam, we need to find out few more concepts. First, which is called as a static indeterminacy of a structure and kinematic indeterminacy of a structure. Then and then only we can calculate and we can solve those indeterminate structures. So, in the next video, we will learn about static indeterminacy and kinematic indeterminacy. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share and subscribe Excel Engineering Education. Thank you.